people what, what is this here jamie Another single, unknown single buyer purchased 11 Hunter Biden paintings for $875,000. That buyer has reportedly purchased the majority of a $1.38 million wow. total in sales. He likes art. Yeah. Got a big fan. He's a big fan. The gallery sets the pricing and handles all sales based on the highest ethical standards of the industry. Well, the industry doesn't have high ethical standards. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like if you're the ethical, ethical standards of the industry of pimping, you know, yeah. you, you, know right. <laughs> you, have, you have to have high ethical That's standards. That's what I said, and does not disclose the name of the buyer to Hunter Biden. But just what they did with the laptop story. Yeah. The fact that they suppressed it from Facebook, they yeah. suppressed it from Twitter, they, they did all yeah. that. And when Zuckerberg was on the podcast and he said the FBI had contacted them about mm -hmm. that, that was a sobering moment. Yeah. I was like, wait, what? Yeah. And then when the Twitter files come out and then you read that, you know, that, and the 51 intelligence, former intelligence agency guys that had signed off on that, yep. that this was Russian disinformation when they had known it wasn't. That that right there, when when you talk about interference with our elections, yeah. when you when you look at some of the stuff the media is talking about and you see what happened there weeks before that 2020 election, I think that the whole uh, that letter came out from the 51 former senior intelligence officials in October, just prior to the November election in 2020, stating this uh, laptop has what is it is like has all, all the, the hall, earmarks it, hallmark of hallmarks, of, uh, yeah. of russian disinformation based on nothing and then you go back and you look at well where why was that letter instigated well then uh you know whatever campaign senior advisor tony blinken to president uh to vice then vice president or i guess former vice president biden made a call he made a call to mike morrell within this uh within the cia or former former deputy of the cia and then he called a friend and there was a CIA staffer, an active CIA staffer who helped orchestrate that letter within like a 24 hour period of time. And it, this is all on the record. This, there, this is all, uh, Mike Morrell said this to Congress in, in uh, private testimony that's since been released. But this was instigated because the Biden campaign told him, hey, we need President, we need uh, Joe Biden to have a good talking point to use in this next debate against Trump, because we know Trump is going to bring up Hunter Biden's laptop and we need to give Biden a talking point so that he can immediately dismiss the whole topic of the Hunter Biden laptop. That letter from the 51 senior former uh, intelligence leaders gave him that talking point. He used it in that debate and it's what was used as the excuse to shut down the New York Post and to shut down anyone who tried to publish the contents of that laptop.